First is first, I've been saying to people, whether anybody likes it or not, that um, nobody can stop Biafra. No human being can stop Biafra. No human being can stop the sun from shining, whether you like it or not. No, I'm see, it's not my, see, Biafra is a spirit. I'm a Yoruba man. I have the spirit of Odudua in me. If you kill me, you cannot kill my spirit. Nobody. So Biafra is a spirit that no human being can conquer. You can't conquer it. Every Igbo man, whether you like it or not, you're a Biafra. Forget politics. Everyone has play politics. No, 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 no. It's not about politics. It's about the fact. Every man that was born in the East, they have this Biafra spirit in them. I have the Rua spirit in me. I also would have the Arewa spirit in them. Do you understand? Okay, let me give an example. After the civil war, you bomb them, you, you destroy their properties. Then we saw children in videos with Kwashoko, big bellies, begging. We saw these videos. Then, what did God do for them? God made sure that today they are everywhere, they are where they are. Because of that Biafra spirit in them, which no human being can conquer. It's a fact. You know, some people, some people that they are so afraid, eh? I'm not a Biafra. You are a Biafra man. If you are an Igbo man, you are a Biafra man. Peter Obis and Igbo man is a Biafra man. For example, our president, Bola Metinu, we say, you Obama, he said, oh, you are a man. You can see, I am, a, I am first an Igbo person, then a Yoruba person, then before I'm a Nigerian. So an Igbo man first is a Biafra, then before he's a Nigerian. That's who he is. You can't deceive yourself. You can, you can be deceiving yourself every time, but the truth will catch up with you one day. I said to people, I said, even if you kill all the good people and you only one little child, that child is Biafra. That's why that's why it cannot be defeated. They are everywhere now. I did not everywhere. Where do you go that you won't see them? In shops, in marketplaces, all over the world. They're everywhere. So you can't defeat them. So holding canoe will only embolden them. Terrorist sponsors have been terrorist sponsors are not in detention in Nigeria. People, for example, even Sunday go to Obama that said he wanted to do it is free. Then why is Namdekanu in detention? Do you know what I'm saying? Now listen to me. When Namdekanu appeared in court, did you watch the court proceedings? When he appeared in court and he was speaking boldly, so my friend, my best friend is an Igbo person. He called me and said, I said, I've watched the video. I said, what did you, what did you see from the video? He said, no, he just saw an American speaking. I said, you don't understand spiritual matters. The spirit of Dimo Dume Gojuku was speaking in Namdekanu that, that, that court proceeding. He was very bold. He was telling me because you cannot try me in this court. It is the spirit of a man that makes a man. Not the body. The body can die, but the spirit cannot die. Okay, after you, after the civil war, why is Biafra still on people's lips today? It's, it's not supposed to die because the spirit refused to die. That's what they don't know. The spirit refused. The body can die. The body is human flesh. So it's from generation to generation. No, but yes now. So whether you like it or not, whether you try to deceive yourself or not, it cannot go. Especially the way you are marginalizing them. Do you understand? Let me give an example. In education, in journalism, in, in, in law, Jehovah people, they are majorly there. That's why you see the NUG and everything that are in Lagos, in Yoruba land. In military, majorly, people that are in military majorly are the northern people, it's a fact. That's why you see military headquarters is in Kaduna State. In Nigeria, they talk about business, importers. They are majorly the Igbo people. But where is the seaport in Igbo land? That is the question. There's no seaport there. And it is deliberate. Our this thing is not deliberate. It's deliberate now. So until you make sure that if there's justice, fairness and equity in Nigeria, then all of us will be able to move forward. But if we keep deceiving ourselves, uh, one Nigeria, uh, this one is not Nigeria, you are just, you see, you can't see, you cannot beat a child and ask the child not to cry. You know the truth. Hey, one Nigeria, I don't, 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 don't see anything. It's just one. It's one Nigeria. 
that looks like like, like, that look like, like, like a full country. Uh, One Nigeria that favors people and, and doesn't favor the other people. Do you understand? Give the government support. Lagos will be depopulated. Give them support in their place. They have their place for support. As people will say, the Igbo land is landlocked. That's a big lie. The Igbo land is never landlocked. They have sea. So you can give them support so that they, they can start importing something from their own place. Not that everybody, everything will be now considered in Lagos. You know what I'm saying? So, these people are, God has blessed them in business. Because I told people, I said, after the civil war, I, 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 I said, if, assuming, 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 see, naturally in Nigeria, the poorest people in Nigeria are supposed to be the good people, it's a fact. Because you give, it to 20, you give some of them to 20 pounds, purpose have been destroyed, they have nowhere to go. But God bless them, as some of their leaders, well, I know I know Anabas very well. Are, is that why it's today in, in West Africa? The, 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 the amount of billionaires that come from Anabas state cannot be compared to anywhere. It's a fact. Go and, go and Google it. In West Africa, Anabas have, have the highest number of billionaires. They are good in business. What do they do? They, they, you serve your guy many years. Then, then after like six years, he gives you the shop. Then you go again. That one that they now give shop today too. And that to come and serve him. That's how they were able to remove themselves small by small out of poverty. Assuming they be able to this like outside people that they were giving people food and be begging. Today they'll be the poorest because they fought the civil war. So that's ordinarily all these beggars that you see here. And also naturally be the boy people is a fact. But they are not because. Because there are leaders able to think and take them out of poverty the way they can. But the government seems to be against them. I mean the federal government. Give everybody, if, if you give a house man the same opportunity, you bomb the same opportunity, give the people the same opportunity, Nigeria will be better than this. But because no, see, okay, this is your tripod. And I'll be saying it, Nigeria is like a tripod, these three things. If you remove one out of it, two cannot make it stand. You deliberately remove the people from them. You now give only Aosa and Yoruba. It's not, no, 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 it's not, I mean, it's not good. It's not, it's not balanced. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not balanced. It, it was a day, one man, he was very happy, he's a Yoruba man. He said, eh, 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 he go, 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 after Yoruba, eh, Aosa, after Aosa, Yoruba. <laughs> I, I said, I, I want to ask you a question. This, you, this useless Yoruba, Aosa, and uh, power, what have you benefited from it? Yeah, he said, no, uh, not, I said, then, Thunder will fire you. You know that you're not but you can't even say the truth, I'm not benefit anything from them. You are a Christian, you have the mind of God to tell people that no, this is right, this is not right. You cannot say we are one country and we are against a particular people. No president, to become president is Wala. Let me give you an example. In Nigeria, go and check it, every unitary school. If a Yoruba to a Yoruba man, a Yoruba Hausa, um, and, and Igbo man, they want to write an exam. It's a fact. Unitary school, Yoruba man will get, they must have like 200 mark to be admitted. Igbo man, like 200 mark to be admitted. Hausa man, like 50 mark. I'm telling you, this is a fact. Unitary school in Nigeria. All of them. Now, if after uh, somebody is 200 mark, another is 200 mark, another is 50 mark, they now go to school. If there's now a job in, in federal civil service, in NMPC, in CB and all those things, the first person to be employed will be that person that has 50 mark. I, I said the country should go forward. Stop deceiving yourself. You, never, oh, let us pray for Nigeria. You cannot, you cannot pray for a goat and the goat will now become a cow. Pray for Nigeria. You have been praying for Nigeria since so many years. And it's not working because there is no justice, equity, and fairness. Until there is justice, equity, and fairness, then the country can drive and move forward. And people will see that, oh, Nigeria is working. But for now, there's no just equity and fairness. People are just deceiving themselves. You understand? There's no just there's no equity, there's no fairness. People are just deceiving themselves. I don't deceive myself. I'm a kind of person, I tell myself the truth. My father used to tell me, if somebody is deceiving you, it's better. But you don't deceive yourself. You don't deceive yourself. Nigeria cannot work like this. Yeah, you are sidelining a major type. And I am making sure that they don't get to power and by I'm, I'm putting incompetent people in power. In twenty in twenty fifteen. And I, I told people, I said this election, I said this election. If you make mistake, Nigeria will never recover. I said I don't, I don't fear anybody. Ah no no no, it's Bari. The reason why they were against Jonathan was because Jonathan's name, he said his name is good luck, Ebele, Azikiwe, Jonathan. 
Oh, you guys are saying it's not It's not your guys. You know, guys are Iguma. Make you come out and say, my hand not dead yet. And they know me. My hand is not dead. Even when they, uh, when the Ojo start to protest against him, I did not go. They know. I, I said, go for me. I know they follow these people. Now they remove him. I put a man that ordinarily cannot be a local government chairman. That does not have the brain to even be a security a mega in a bank. You put him as the president. Look at when Nigeria is today. Because of tribalism. Ah, I, I know I know that why you will not do anything about but she wants now your man is his vice. You don't vote like that. He said no, look at the problem now. The 23 came. This is the best time to to to, to change the, 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 the Nigeria. I said this time around, very simple. Competence, capacity, character, commitment. It will be. Let's go. I was telling, let's go, please, let's go. This time around. I mean, don't collect money from anybody. Just vote for mine. I know. Uh, eh, it's in Ubu Nae, Yobama, but eh, eh, now our own person, in your wani, our own wani. I said, no, don't do like this. I know nothing will happen. I was in the bus when I was campaigning. When that old man said, I would rather die under that Tinubu than to enjoy under that Peter Obi. I was in the bus. One man said it in this place. He said, I know that Tinubu cannot perform well, but I would rather vote for him than vote for Anigoma. The other man in my compound said, eh, Ibo Ibo cannot be trusted. I said, if there's any tribe that can be trusted in Nigeria, I swear to God, I'm thinking from the bottom of my heart, it's the good people. You know why? They are everywhere doing business. Everywhere you go, I've been, I, I'm, I, I do, I'm an artisan, I do my living work everywhere. I've been to where you must see an Igbo man doing, is that chemist or something there? He said, no, ah, that one man, that same one is complaining in the compound. Yes, now. See me, I told some of them now, they said they want to come and join the obedient movement. And I told them, if you want to join, they said, I'm just a spokesman, I'm not anybody. So if you want to join, just make sure that you are working. But if you don't have work, they give you a mala and 5,000, you vote under Mumu again. So vote this time around. This time around, don't collect money. Make sure that, make sure that, make sure that things are going well. I'm telling you, I, I know what I'm, I, I know what people are facing. No, me, I, me, I, no, me, I, man. Me and that one, I see, all those ones, I want them. Poverty, insecurity, inflation, does not know tribe or religion. I told them. Even Buhari that we say is the worst president, is not better than our air. Eh, Omar Abis are now missing Buhari. I said, I said, I said, if we can miss Buhari in Nigeria, that means something is wrong. Is it, is it, is it not like that? Eh, as I was coming from my house one day, three people came to meet me. Ah, thank God. Come, 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 sir. Kilo Shele, come, come, come. Ah, Obi and Atiku want to join together. I said, eh, I said, eh, eh. What's the problem? I said, ah, beg, 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 beg. Me they join together. I said, eh, eh. Good morning, no. It's good, good morning. I, I want you here. Yeah, I told you in this place. You kept calling me, oh, yeah, you're a bastard. You're a bastard. You hate Yoruba. You're a bastard. I'm a Yoruba person, but the truth is the truth. Let us see the truth and say it. Now look at it. Then and now, they now want Vita Abib to come back. And, 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 and you see. Okay, come back. Because the man have brain of, 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 it's a trader, you know, a trader can multiply money. He have brain, not, not just a politician. That, that I don't know anything politics. politics. They put all their children in politics, all their wife politics. You, they don't know you. They, they have used you and dumped you. They don't know you. They don't know you now. Eh, eh, you give them. See me, I told them in this place. You give them, you give them, you give them two decades of rice. It is here, two decades of rice. Maggi, salt, tomato, um, uh, granite oil. They are my lap. Yeah, take. Go and vote. They will not be singing. Hey, hey, hey. A, a man was giving, a Yobama was giving elderly woman one one uh, spaghetti. A video, I have the video. Yeah. The, the, hey, she said one one spaghetti. I'm the, I'm the, I, I was angry. Ah. <laughs> this is bad now. We should tell ourselves the truth in this place. How can, how can, how can, how can, how can, how can for example, receiving you every year, every year, the same thing you do every year. Don't collect money from any person again. Vote your mind now that, oh, this man can do it, my mind. I don't care the best, but just your mind. But all this, the money they give you, we finish. We know they're for Nigeria. We know they're here for Nigeria. <laughs> hey, no, you see, you see, let me tell you. Poverty has been weaponized. And democracy cannot work where there's poverty and them, um, and them, um, poverty and, and illiteracy. In a developed country, something like this, it doesn't happen now. It doesn't happen, yes, because no. See, my brother, when you, let me give you an example. When you are, okay, if somebody called you and say, come. Come and take 5,000 votes for somebody. You cannot vote because you have that money. For somebody that is not working, they brainwash him, I give him small money and food. He will vote for the one candidate. That is the problem. So poverty and illiteracy have been weaponized. That whenever election comes, you must vote for a wrong leader because it's from your tribe. You understand? So, so it is intentional. They made it so that, so that when you are so poor, you must vote for the wrong candidate, which I am against. 
Ah, Muslim, Muslim ticket. Eh, Mumu ticket. Muslim, Muslim. Muslim, Muslim. Mumu. Even the people that are Muslim, Muslim, even the Muslim self, they don't. Now, now, let me tell you. Under Jonathan, you know that if the Kabir is coming, they call it, call it, call it, call it Leia. Under Jonathan, people, they will be buying goats, rams, up and down. Have you seen one ram pass here? <laughs> Some of them, they are giving a quick notice. Sorry, this is fear. frustration everywhere. But we want them that the only way to go is to vote for a man that have competence, got capacity. They say no. We want to vote for our, our tribe. Oh yeah, your tribe. Enjoy it. I told them. I said after two years, all of you become obedient. Less than five months, they are not coming to meet me. That, you know, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? So now everybody should learn. Biafra spirit cannot die. The same way my spirit of the cannot die. The same way Iowa spirit cannot die. Whether you like it or not. No human being on earth can stop Biafra. That's my opinion. Thank you very much.